Hello and welcome to my meander for this week. As I look out from my office window, I can see that the river is beginning to open up and the snow is retreating from the edges of the grass. The bottoms of the trees are also becoming visible. I know from traveling in the south of the province that things are more advanced there, but there are still definite signs of spring all around us. I've begun to plan for yard work for the coming season. The seeds are in their packets in the house. As the snow disappears over the next few weeks, I hope to be able to plant them in the greenhouse, ready for transplanting later in the year. At present, I can't get anywhere near the greenhouse as the snow is still wasted deep. One of the frustrations of our garden is that it's too small for everything that we want to do and to grow. The result is that I've decided to build some wooden structures which I can place in the beds and other places to grow things up. In order to do this, I've bought a book of plans for trellises and the like. I'm itching to get going, but there's another obstacle. We don't have a garage or covered space for me to work in, so nothing can begin yet. A further issue is my lack of woodworking skills. It looks as if I'm going to have to cut angles. Never, I've never been very good at angles. So I could be responsible for a piece of major deforestation in the province as I go through two by twos, trying to make them fit together at the top. There's nothing more satisfying though, in my mind, as when a building project or something similar comes together and you can stand back and appreciate what's been achieved. This applies to many things from building a structure in the backyard to baking a delicious cake. There's always a great sense of accomplishment. The Bible tells us that we are made in the image of God, who is the creator of the world in which we live. As spring approaches, we can see more evidence of God's creative hand than perhaps we've been able to for a few months. Winter has its own stark beauty with things like the snow forming a white background to the red dogwood branches. But spring always seems to quicken the heart. I'm sure that we're all looking forward to a new freshness as the plants and trees burst into life, reminding us of the Creator's love, placing us in this amazing world and giving us the ability to create too. This also raises our heads to look at the new creation that we are promised with the new heaven and the new earth, the first fruits of which we see in the resurrected Jesus, whom we shall soon be celebrating at Easter. Once again, thank you for joining me this week. God bless and see you again soon.